Have you already plugged in? Wit, are you already plugged in? Can you see it? Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Level's okay? Does that sound right there? Aaron, appreciate it. And then you can plug into the molt box as well. Do you have a cord?
Ladies and gentlemen, if you could go ahead and start uh, finding your way to a seat, this will be your uh, three-minute warning before we begin. Thank you.
uh, two-minute warning. If we could get everybody to uh, to find a spot, we've got standing room only. That that's uh, that's a good sign of things to come that we're standing room only. But we'll get started in about uh, 90 seconds. Thanks. Good morning. Thank you all for being here today. Every day is a great day to be a Warhawk, but today is an especially exciting day to be a Warhawk. So we are here today to introduce our new women's basketball coach. And I hope that everybody who's here who has not had the opportunity to meet Missy yet can feel the energy in the room and with her and Molly sitting right behind her, I mean, you, you know, it's just kind of, the energy's kind of bouncing off the walls in here. So uh, just really excited. Uh, before I bring uh, Missy up to, to greet you all, I want to talk just a little bit about the process. Um, you know, obviously been, been about three weeks in the process here. As I told our team this morning, uh, uh, when we met three weeks ago, uh, I told them that we were going to try to be as expedient in the process as we could, but to be thorough and to make sure that we got the right head coach to lead the future of Warhawk women's basketball. And so to be patient, these young ladies have been very patient, and I feel confident that we hired the right person to, pardon the pun, but build her back, and that referring to our women's basketball program. Um, you know, had a ton of interest uh, from all levels, head coaches, power five, associate head coaches. We had a lot of people who we went through, talked to quite a few people, not just our candidates, but people in the business too that, that are trusted, close, uh, close friends and, and colleagues in the business. And I am so excited about this hire here. And you know what, I, I'll use the, uh, the G-rated version here, but if you really want to know a, a gauge of what people think about your hire, here in the last 18 hours uh, since the information started to get out, ladies don't tell them I used the other word in the team meeting this morning, but uh, not only fellow athletic directors in the Sunbelt Conference, fellow you know, women's basketball coaches who we mutually know, it's been an oh shoot moment for the rest of the uh, Sunbelt Conference to say, man, Monroe is, uh, is, is getting ready to flip this thing really quickly. So I think that is a statement about the program builder that Missy is, and you know, we are so excited not only to welcome Missy Builder back to our program, but certainly her husband Chip, her son Drew. Uh, I, I heard very quickly, let me just tell you really quick ab about a brief story that I heard a fellow Sunbelt head coach, Shanda Rigby, who's the head coach at Troy. I had the opportunity to work with Shanda for three years. So I'm talking to Shanda last Thursday about Missy. And, and she told me this little story that had really nothing to do with basketball that told me right there, we really need to pursue this. So she said a couple of years ago at Jones um, Community College, where she is coming from, she, she's only won 86% of her games there. I mean, I don't know any coach who's coached that long who's won 86%. I mean, that is a phenomenal number. But this was a couple of years ago at Jones, and you know they weren't just flush with cash at Jones Community College. 
And they were, Missy was wanting to make sure that she made a great first impression on her signing class. So in the summer, before the young ladies came to campus, Missy and her family scrubbed down the walls in the residence hall, painted the, the, resident, the dorm rooms, painted the restrooms, cleaned the restrooms because she wanted to make a great first impression and knew that their facilities people, you know, didn't have the time or, or resources to do it. So she took it upon herself to do that. And, you know, uh, y'all have heard me talk before about the roll up the sleeves and let's go to work and let's find ways to get things done. I could tell right away that this was her attitude. And oh, by the way, I think that's a key component to why she is so successful. So without further ado, let me please welcome to you the new women's basketball coach for our ULM Warhawks, Missy Bilderback. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, I definitely hope I'm a better basketball coach than I am a painter. We were that was that was a challenge for sure, but. One of my assistant coaches, uh, Coach Coop, is back there as well. I know he was a big part of that project, so don't want to leave him out. But first of all, thank you. It's just a great time to be a Warhawk right now, like John said. And I just really want to say thank you to everyone through this process. Uh, Dr. Barry, thank you for your trust. Uh, John Hartwell, obviously. Um, I knew from the first conversation with John um, that he had a great vision and that uh, there was a big time future for Monroe and the athletic program here at ULM. And so just really got excited in just my first conversation with John. Um, the athletic staff, uh, the people, I, I had an opportunity to meet um, on Tuesday. I mean, that's what really sold me initially. Um, you know, I had a chance to go to lunch with some of the athletic staff. I had a chance to meet the other coaches. Um, I spent some time with Molly, Rachel, and Will. And, you know, it's just anytime you leave somewhere that you really love and care about, um, I'm going to tell you, you know, you only do that when there's great people. And so thank you guys. That was a big part. And I already know some of the football coaches here. And, you know, I'm excited um, about all the new relationships and opportunities. So thank you guys. That was tremendous and just really made me feel like this is where God's leading me to be. Um, thank you to my family. Um, obviously, Chip and Drew, they're troopers like – at the end of the day, um, they're willing to pack up and, and, and leave and come over here and, and, and help in this process of rebuilding this program. And so um, my, my son's right there. He's your biggest cheerleader, girls. I think you'll see that. And um, he'll always be there to support my husband as well. And so I couldn't ask for a better support system. Um, my parents are watching at home. They're a little under the weather, but thank you guys. Um, uh, Coach Pitt, Coach Coop, Kevin, good friends from Jones, uh, Kevin's associate AD and um, thank you guys for being here today. Coach Coop uh, is like my brother. He's worked with me eight years at Jones, and, and thank you, Coach, and, and Coach Pittman as well. Um, I, I'd be remiss not to thank Jones College. Um, they took a chance on a high school coach. I was really successful in Hattiesburg, but took a chance on a high school coach. Didn't know how we would translate success from high school to two-year, and um, eight years later, seven regional championships, seven trips to the national tournament, um, a Final Four appearance, and so... You know, thank you to Dr. Jesse Smith, Joel Kane, Gwen McGee, Katie Harrington, all you guys. Um, love you guys and just thankful for the opportunity there. Um, without that, this day doesn't come. Um, and so, and most importantly, thank you to the players. Um, you know, past players for everything they've given and to me personally, to our program. Um, you know, it's all about your players. At the end of the day, if you don't have players that are bought in, you don't have great players, it's not going to happen. And so you guys are what it's all about. Thank you to my future players. We had a great team meeting this morning and uh, had an opportunity to meet with you guys. And thank you all for being here today. And I just can't wait to continue to form and grow uh, relationships with you guys and get to be your coach. So thank you for allowing that. Um, it's really special and I can't wait to get started. So thank you guys there. Um, this is a tremendous opportunity. I, I see that. I know that I'm not, I'm, I'm smart. I know that there's been some challenges in the past. I know that. I'm not scared of that. I'm excited about it. Um, I can't wait to get to work. As John said, there is so much going on here 
that I, that I couldn't tell you how excited I am. You know, the, the community, um, I can't wait to get out and build relationships in this community. It's a great city. You can tell that Monroe is really a great city with great people. Um, obviously, the staff and the people here at ULM, um, I learned that again day one. And so I can't wait to just cultivate and form those relationships. And then clearly with, with, our, with our players and, um, you know, our, our, our opportunity to, to just grow those there. So just can't wait to do that. Sunbelt Conference is a great conference. It's a challenging conference. Um, you know, I do know that. We've sent a lot of players to the Sunbelt Conference over the years, um, watched a lot of games. Um, but I can tell you that the, the gone are the days that we're at the bottom of the Sun Belt. That, that's gone, over, done. And I know that's a big statement. Um, this thing can be flipped quick. Um, you know, I know that the model that we have from a standpoint of recruiting model, just building day-to-day -day culture, I believe in it. Um, I'm passionate about it, and I'll work tirelessly to make sure you have a program here that you can be proud of. And um, we play an exciting brand of basketball. We like, to, we like to get up and go. We like to run the floor. We, we love the transition game. We love to defend at a high level. And um, so we're going to play a fun uh, style of basketball that you guys will enjoy and uh, want to come watch and support for sure. So um, I, I want to also say, you know, it's really important um, that, you know, our community sees our players. I think when you see the coaches and players in the community, um, you're going to also want to come out and support. There's a lot of ideas that I have and, and activities and different things just to be able to, to get you guys um, so you get to know our players and, and, and have an opportunity to come out and uh, just get to know not only who they are on the floor but also who they are as people. And so I'm um, excited to get going. It's a great day to be a Warhawk, um, you know, and so I'll open it up for any questions. But thank you again for the opportunity. Can't wait to get started. And um, that's what I'm, I'm ready to get on a recruiting call right now. So, <laughs> so uh, well, you know, let's go. So any questions for you guys here? I know somebody's got a question, right? <laughs> it's yes, it's Seth. Yes. Hey, thank you, Seth. I'm going to tell you, I had the, that was probably the biggest thing that sold me, Seth, was the campus tour. So we had, no, I had a great campus tour. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, obviously we put a high premium on being able to defend first. I think you can create a lot of opportunities offensively by the way you defend and rebound, correct? So, um, you know, we, we joke, but we have a, saying in our program, you know, the first maybe uh, six to eight seconds of the shot clock's yours, you know, we let them pitch it up, try to see if we can get a transition opportunity, a rim run, a three, and, um, and then from there we try to make sure we, you know, we get a quality shot. But if we can get an easy shot through, you know, playing a high tempo, and it, and it involves more players, obviously, when you play fast, you know, uh, it's more fun. Would you guys agree with that? <laughs> and so it's more fun, and so um, it gives you an opportunity that, to also go deeper in your rotation and so thank you, Seth. Yeah. I know recruiting is important. How fast will you build the staff? How fast will it take you? Honestly, I feel pretty good about my staff right now. So I've got, um, you know, great people that have experience at the Division One level. Um, you know, one is someone that has worked with me for quite a while. Um, she's been at Southern Miss in the past as recruiting coordinator and uh, their perimeter coach. Um, I've got also a uh, staff member coming that played for me, played at Tulane, was a GA at Alabama, and now is a recruiting coordinator in the Big South. So um, we're still putting together that third spot right now, but you know we've worked pretty hard, feel really confident. I told the team this morning, it's not just me. We have a tremendous staff and people coming in. It's a team effort there as far as um, definitely having a quality staff with me. That's very important and something I'm very excited about, for sure. Thank you. You know, that's a great question. I think, you know, um, I'm going to use an example of another Sunbelt school. Uh, I won't call them by name, but uh, we sat in the stands last year and watched a men's team in the Sunbelt, and I don't know, three, 400 people there. It was sad, you know, and um, I felt bad for the kids out there playing. And um, they, they, they turn it, they, they win, and I think they were sold out a lot of the games towards the end of the year. Um, so obviously, you know, people are naturally going to support winners, and when you win, they're going to come out. But I think also just some community engagement. Um, we'll get to work on camps 
here very soon, um, but also just being able to go around and be visible in the community. You know, it's hard to, uh, you know, it's hard to support people you don't know sometimes. And so I think recruiting locally will be important. You know, any, any good players in this region area that are out there, we've got to get here at Monroe, clearly. Um, but also, um, you know, just being visible, our players and our staff in the community is going to be big on that. Okay, great. Thank you, guys. Thank you.